NASA's Wilkinson's Microwave and Isotropy Probe, or WMAP, was launched on June 30, 2001, aboard a Delta II launch vehicle from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. WMAP orbits around the L2 Lagrange point, one million miles beyond Earth. With a sweeping 12-month observation of the entire sky, scientists using WMAP have created the most detailed portrait of the infant universe. The new unprecedented full sky picture brings into focus infinitesimal patterns that mark the seeds of what later grew into the clusters of galaxies we see today. Encoded in these patterns is the much anticipated information about the fundamental properties of the early universe, including the era when stars first ignited. This era is only 200 million years after the Big Bang, much earlier than many scientists thought. By capturing the afterglow of the Big Bang, called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, we now believe the universe is 13.7 billion years old. Ripples in the cosmic microwave background can be compared to the ripples in fluids. The dispersed gas of the early universe has unique behaviors based upon its composition. The composition and the behavior of the inflation event generates a distinctive pattern of ripples. This pattern is detectable in the image we see in the cosmic microwave background. Let's see where the WMAP sky image is found. Starting with an overview of the Milky Way, we move down to see the view from our location. From the Earth, we can view the sky and unwrap it into an oval for easy viewing. Finally, we can view the light at different wavelengths, from the visible down to the microwave. Different wavelengths reveal different sources of radiation across the sky. The microwave radiation from the sky appears almost featureless until we increase the contrast and reveal the small details of the cosmic microwave radiation. The red band across the center of the sky image is strong radiation from our Milky Way galaxy. The cooler blues and greens at the higher latitudes are a much larger portion of the background radiation. WMAP has made three major findings in the first five years of operation new evidence that a sea of cosmic neutrinos permeates the universe. Clear evidence the first stars took more than half a billion years to create a cosmic fog. Tight new constraints on the burst of expansion in the universe's first trillionth of a second. Thanks to the WMAP team of scientists, we can now view the earliest light of the universe. NASA and FigBranch.com take you on a trip through space and time to put the earliest light in perspective. Pulling back from the WMAP spacecraft in orbit L2, we see that we are but a tiny speck in our Milky Way galaxy. As the journey continues, we see that the Milky Way is but a tiny speck in the universe as we pass quasars that were some of the earliest, brightest structures that we can detect with conventional instruments. Finally, we arrive at the beginning of time as we understand it. The superheated, rolling ionized hydrogen gas of the universe newly made glows throughout. The energy from sonically condensed and rarefied ripples in the gas released as it cooled to 3,000 Kelvin. With these fascinating discoveries in just five years' time, it's unimaginable what we will learn in the next five years of space exploration.